So here we are close to the end of our Studio Foundations uh, project, activity, exercise, team, something. The final studio project. It's time to reflect, guys. What was the most, was the most surprising element of this project? The most surprising element for this project um, would be this video blog. I've uh, never done it because video recording myself is outside my comfort zone. Uh, I can see the potential value for it though. I think the most surprising element was how much I learned uh, and how much we accomplished. What was the most surprising to me was how willing and how quickly everyone in my team was willing to put their their fears, their concerns, and their guilt on the table so vulnerably, so honestly, and fearlessly um, so that we can all work together. Um, my initial concern was the logistics of style consistency and giving it, giving everyone sorry, a fair chance to um, contribute and learn the software. Um, that we're not going to we're gonna put something really crappy, not cohesive, no value. Probably the most embarrassing thing is coming to that apex where you're taking somebody's time and showing them how you've spent your time only to realize you've just wasted both of your times and the time that you put in is multiples of what you're asking of them and you can't get it back. Um, my initial concern in the project was that we would be too ambitious and we would completely overwhelm ourselves and end up not finishing everything or having to cut a lot of corners that would become obvious in the presentation. Uh, but so long as it's a long night, that probably won't happen. Right now, my biggest challenge is dealing with exhaustion. <laughs> I don't want to let my teammates down. Uh, they've been very supportive. Uh, it's been a very mentally taxing week all around. Um, the biggest challenge for me was definitely learning about the software. Gerald was a great help with that, and I've really enjoyed learning more about Photoshop and Creative Cloud libraries. I feel like my understanding of Adobe software has grown quite a bit, and I'm finding new and unexpected solutions to problems that I didn't know that I could find. The biggest challenge was definitely the ability to coordinate the different working styles and the different tools into something cohesive that works well together quickly, efficiently, and effectively. Working styles, that's the hardest part. My expectations were that we would have more group issues where we would have slowdowns or there would be some miscommunications, but so far everything has gone um, really well because we've all been in communication and really trying to give it our all when we have time. Uh, Kim was great at setting that up, but um, we all like, found our pockets of time and were honest with ourselves and honest with each other. And so um, it's really made the project come along a lot easier. And I expected this to be a disaster, honestly. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't. The reality was uh, everybody worked really well and the fact that we gave each other space really worked in our favor. Um, because everybody came to the table with positive attitudes and the desire to make something well. Not just to put something out, but to make it well. Um, my expectations and the reality um, that has unfolded are really not too far off from one another. Um, let's see, video blogging, uh, both pleasant and unpleasant. <laughs> Good surprises. I really like how 
how people open up about their vulnerabilities. Um, it's moments like that that make you realize that you're building something bigger and the bigger thing is not an artifact. The bigger thing is that that network of like-minded people and they're not like-minded to start. They become like-minded because you experience things together. Um, the most unpleasant surprise uh, was probably the amount of work the mid-fidelity part was, but it's also been the greatest learning experience, so we always have a little bit of, of both good and bad in there. Um, Would I do this again? Hmm, I'm not sure if this question was meant to be open-ended. Uh, I'd be happy to do any of these uh, again, but uh, maybe not in the same context as this week has been um, personally for me. Um, so really no regrets about it. And I would absolutely do this again. Uh, this team has been great. I've learned a lot. Would I do this again? Hell yeah, I'd do this again. Um, with more time though. And uh, definitely next time I would challenge myself not to tell a story. I would probably try to diagram something or maybe something futuristic. I think that the most valuable thing that I'm taking away from Pat is that I can draw, sort of. I can sketch. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can definitely get an idea across, and I feel really confident about that, and I also feel really happy when I'm drawing instead of that frustrated, how do I do this? I have a lot of approaches, a lot of tools to help me get to where I need to go, even if I can't draw something that I need to draw initially. My most valued takeaway from Pat has been uh, the bar that he set for us. Um, I admire all the levels of fidelity um, that he does. Um, this has become a big theme, uh, theme for me um, in this semester. Um, I'm aspiring to get to an executive level execution in all phases, uh, but context matters. And I can see that there is a good enough um, when I try to encourage um, my classmates. Um, Pat, thank you very much. Um, I really enjoyed this class. Um, I had some reservations about um, my my skill set um, because I had let it um, what do you can degrade and or at least fall off. I should say um, I didn't think it would come back this fast, and I'm like super happy that it has. Um, and and in the process, I mean, I, I'm always one to uh, say there's always something to be learned. And, um, you know, I was nervous. I didn't know if I was going to learn anything new or different um, that I hadn't already learned for myself. But um, I definitely did learn a lot from this class. I did get a lot from it. Um, and, yeah, it's been a good experience. Thank you. Pat, thank you for all your patience and your ability to recognize, even though we can't verbalize and articulate where our struggles are, because we just don't know what we don't know. Um, but thank you for having that patience with us and putting the words to the, the, the things that we're feeling and we just can't say. And even more than that, thank you for giving us very concrete, things that we can try to be better and following up. Yeah. Thank you. And thanks for not judging us. That's a lot. That's a lot to ask and it's a big gift to give. Um, yeah. I want to thank you, Pat, for all of your help and your guidance and your patience. It was always really encouraging, and my favorite thing about your class was that anytime I thought I did something really good, I would bring it over to you, and you would say, this is how you can make it better. <laughs> and it was always so much clearly better. So thank you for that, and I hope you... It's, it's not like a voicemail. You don't have a sign-off. All right. Bye.